once you receive the samples, how much time on an average does it take to carry out this uh, sequencing test and then come up with the conclusion that yes, this is the mutated strain? It can be done uh, within a day. It doesn't take uh, that much time because sequencing has now become a very routine affair. So maybe a day or two at the most it can be done. How do you think that even those who've arrived in the last few days, a much larger number of uh, you know tests need to be carried out, a sort of survey, uh, and the sequencing samples should be taken at a much larger scale? So there are multiple issues in this, uh, one or two or three underlying questions to this. So indeed uh, surveillance has to be better, sequence-based surveillance. And as you know that CSIS strategy and COVID mitigation from beginning, we started in March. And one major vertical we had defined, we had five verticals, but one of the major verticals is molecular surveillance. And that's the reason that we have been sequencing lots of viral isolates. And we also have no expression of interest from many different states to carry out this. For example, the state of Kerala has asked us to do a longitudinal study of all the districts of Kerala and keep sequencing viral isolates from there. So that's uh, one of the underlying questions that what you have. But uh, the thing is, uh, the, it's always a good strategy to, to, for surveillance because one of the ways to contain the virus spread is uh, sequencing uh, and, uh, and surveillance. And once you actually find some people positive and all, then uh, kind of uh, put them in quarantine or something like that so that they don't spread to others. So that's a good strategy in any case. As far as the, this particular sequence being observed in India, uh, it's a kind of a hypothetical question. We don't know yet whether uh, this is already spreading in India or not. So we'll have to wait and watch. Uh, it's both possible, not possible. But uh, some of the mutations that UK strain has, been, uh, has N501Y have also been observed in other geographies. So uh, they're actually spontaneous mutations and there's no reason to believe that other geographies they will not uh, uh, arise, these mutations. For example, South Africa and Brazil, this, some of the mutations have also arisen independently of UK. So there is uh, no reason to believe that these mutations may not come in India.